just through our uh, exploration of where Bitcoin and cryptocurrency payments are going, um, the Lightning Network keeps coming up as kind of the uh, infrastructure that everything's being built on. Explain to me a little bit about what Voltage does and how you guys connect all the dots. Yeah, sure. So uh, Voltage is a Bitcoin infrastructure provider, um, basically. So what that means is we provide a variety of services for both individuals and companies to incorporate Bitcoin into what they're doing much easier and much faster. So we have several services today that of like Lightning Network node hosting, Bitcoin node hosting, and BTC Pay server hosting. Right. So through our platform, you're able to sign up and create your node in just a couple of minutes. And then once you have your node running, you can start incorporating its APIs into what you're already building. Um, and so this really okay. enables people to start uh, incorporating Bitcoin into those like everyday applications much easier and much faster. It removes the complexities of having to know all of those low level details about the Bitcoin network, server maintenance, all of those things. You know, we kind of take on that burden for you and we just give you an API and say, you know, here you go, start, you know, interacting with it uh, through your apps that, you know, maybe weren't crypto enabled previously. Um, and then we make it in a really seamless, easy way to bring that into your stores, your applications, whatever you're really building. Yeah, so the potential there down in the future, how would this kind of compare uh, or and maybe in a way conflict to a certain extent? If I've got an app today where I'm just you know tr traditionally accepting fiat payment, uh, is this one of those things that integrates to the whole entire payment infrastructure or, or am I gonna have essentially kind of two channels you know, you've got one channel over here that might be utilizing something like a Plaid backend uh, to do a payment or maybe a, sw uh, a Stripe, something of that nature was a typical credit card fiat, uh, you know, enabled. And then mm -hmm. yours, how would that look in an app if I was wanting to enable Voltage on my app itself? Yeah, sure. So we really, uh, the, the, the two methods are really kind of, um, they're independent. So that I don't think they would do much crossover like on the back end because, you know, the protocols are just kind of completely different things between, you know, the traditional banking system and then the Bitcoin protocol on how, you know, right. the peer-to-peer -peer network that's behind it. So they would really um, exist in two different areas. But, you know, when you're incorporating into your app, you could very easily, you know, just select which route to take. Um, as far as voltage goes is we we would uh, basically run the kind of the back end for you. So when you are servicing, you know, someone to pay with lightning or uh, add lightning support into whatever you're building, you could very easily, you know, add, add that front end to it. And then what we, mm -hmm. we host kind of the whole back end of your lightning node and all of, all of the complexities that go into that. And then you would just be hitting um, our API and we would, you know, take care of everything from there essentially. Right. 